Hello, and welcome back to another episode of The Workshop with me, your host, Marco DeSantos, also known as Mechanic Critic, and with me is some more Bravery Network Online. In this episode, we're going into the locker room and making a new team. Why, do you ask? Well, on the Discord, there has been discussions over a certain fighter and one of their traits. And I wanted to see whether or not I could make it work. The fighter in question, Bongtown Mayor herself, Yasmin. This is very interesting because it was a talk about this move, tough. People were saying that tough is not nearly good enough to be viable. Or rather, there was no tough set that was viable. You might as well just take ambidextrous over tough in like all situations. So the mission for today is to try to find a team that will make tough work for us. Bada bing, bada boom. So, uh, big questions. What is tough? Well, if we look at here, tough is that at the end of our turn, we heal 10 health. This means that we are highly incentivized to make some sort of tanky build, or make some sort of build that is okay with receiving a lot of residual damage. What's the challenge with that? Well, the challenge with that is that Yasmin the, the, Yasmin's defenses aren't stellar. Notice how our physical defense is only 40. Uh, wait, let's remove all of our focus so it becomes even more clear what our stats are. So, our physical defense is only 40. Our digital defense is 80, which is actually pretty good. And our emotional defense is garbage. 20. Which basically means any emotional attack one-shots us. Every time we've played Bonk Town, this has been very, very clear. So the big problem here is that there's there's kind of like a push and pull, wherein tough kind of incentivizes us to create a kit that's focused on switching in and taking some hits, but we don't have enough defensive spread to take those hits easily. Now, the question is, when would this be useful? When would it be useful to have a character with semi-decent physical defense and amazing digital defense swap in and what kind of tempo can Yasmin create for us and how does having that 10 HP heal every turn benefit us so here's my idea if we go for a pure supportive set something with like poison daggers bandages and charge panels something like this what would then happen is that we're just kind of like a bad K-Ban, as many people have pointed out on the Discord. Uh, sure, we have digital defenses, unlike K-Ban, uh, but the problem is that, you know, anybody just swaps in an emotional character and we kind of get bodied. Also, I do think there's a lot of other characters who can cover this niche very well already. You have Liss, you have all sorts of characters who can cover this niche of being a, you know, tanky support character. So I don't think this is actually the correct way to go about it. Because inevitably, I have to return to Bonky. So why am I putting Practice Stick on Tough Sela? Well, that's a very interesting question, and here's my very interesting answer, which again, I have no data to prove at all, because we're, you know, we're theory crafting teams here. The niche that this character has is that they have practice stick which is a move that not a lot of other characters have um you'd have to be a duelist to have it and i believe like the only other duelist currently in the game is sayla yeah there's sayla who's a duelist yeah so it's, it's basically sayla i might have not unlocked the other characters but so we only have sayla which means that Yasmin can kinda tag in and build up over time without having to tag out. Which is very similar to how uh, some Sela sets run. You know the big difference though? Unlike Yasmin, Sela's digital defenses are kinda bad. So here's my posit. Yasmin serves as a counter pivot to K-Ban. They kind of cover each other's weaknesses, right? 
Gaben has a decent amount of emotional defense. And Sayla has a but terrible digital defense. And Yasmin has a lot of digital defense and semi-bad emotional defense. So, if we just hot swap between these two, we kind of cover ourselves and we don't uh, feel sad when we have to swap. So they essentially form a defensive core uh, in, you know, in games like this. A defensive core essentially means that against certain matchups, you can easily swap into and out of certain, um, certain enemies. So, you know, against any physical attacker, we're fine. Against any digital attacker, we're fine. And against any emotional attacker, we're fine. The only real problem is if a character deals both emotional and digital damage uh, at the same time. So we may need some other fighters to cover that weakness, just in case. Possibly somebody like a... Um, not a Farron. Somebody like a Liz to cover that. Because Liz has decent defenses all around. Tazu would also be a decent choice for that. So now we basically have a trifecta of characters that can just tank everything forever. And they just pivot on each other constantly. Now, the real question is this. If we have this big defensive core, how, how do we win? What's our game plan for winning? That's a really important question. What is the game plan for winning? So we need to take tough Sayla. Sorry, tough Yasmin. We expect to take some hits because we're constantly swapping in and out. Which means that we're kind of losing tempo every time we swap. Which means we need to create good matchups. Right? Alright. So, we have these three characters on the team kind of pseudo-locked in in my mind. With that in mind, which three of them has the best captain plan? So k has a really interesting captain plan because we gain energy every time we hit. We are hit. So if we just bring out k or bring out any of our swaps, our swaps don't lose us as much tempo because it generates batteries. It also makes it really hard for them to sweep us. Tazu is also a really powerful captain because Tazu's captain plan makes us deal 50% more damage if we're slower than our opponents. So 35 speed, 80 speed is kind of a bit fast, and uh, 60 speed. This is a really interesting conundrum, right? Do we want... So definitely not doing Yasmin Captain Plan here because Yasmin Captain Plan uh, requires Sweep Yasmin and that would require us to pick Ambidextrous, which, again, is not the goal of this episode. We're supposed to theory craft a team that works with Tough Yasmin. So Tough Yasmin wants to come in to tank for K-Ban and or um, Tazu. Sorry, to tank for K-Ban. Tazu can come in and tank for either of them, and K-Ban can tank the physical. So this is all fine and dandy. Is this? Okay, so if we just do this, pump up our defense here, we can get to 56, which is actually pretty good. Pump this up to 94. If we pump our attack by... Hmm, all right. So a spread like this looks okay for the focus on Sayla. K-Ban. Yeah, the emo defense is pretty good. I would actually like a ton of attack. So that we can actually hurt. And Tazu. I don't know if Tazu needs that much investment in this. But I guess it's it's fine. Uh, do, we, do we waste anything here by having it at... Yeah, we do waste. So there you go. So this is interesting. This is interesting. We're, we're starting to see a team form together here. I think we're going to try going with the, uh, Tazu's captain plan. So um, what's the big brain play? Well, 80 is too fast a lot of the time. So what happens if we just put Puzzle Pendant? Puzzle Pendant would reduce our initiative by to 75%, by 75%, which means that Yasmin's always going to be slower. 
So 75% of 80 would be 20. So like we would be really slow and we could really hurt with some attacks. With that in mind, maybe we just, you know, pump some into attack. I need to find out some initiatives here. But if we just throw, like, a longsword or a claymore, it should hurt like heck. Like, if we do longsword, claymore, like, quick foil, or like... Oh, that's so interesting. Like, you know, not longsword. Sorry, not claymore. But like... Oh, this is really interesting. So, like, longsword, charge panel, bandage. For this one, we're definitely gonna do spike club. Not heart to heart. We could do tidy or mentor. We could do mentor! Ah, uh, no, okay. Wait, we need to find something that they're comfortable with. Alright, well, I guess we're keeping heart to heart for now. Tazu. Backlash, definitely good. Oh, here. We could put Spike Necklace to get some... Uh, to get some... Sorry, Spike Pendant? Spiked Pendant? Thorn Pendant. We can do Thorn Pendant so that we gain tempo when we switch, because we somewhat damage our opponent as well. Uh, Tazu kind of already does that by having Backlash. But we could just make Tazu do it even more. Or we could just give Tazu Lucky Pendant for now. This set seems okay. Uh, do I want Fireworks instead? Can we even get Fireworks? No, we can't. We can do Bribe, right up So these are two physical people. Digital seems pretty good. Um, Pop-ups, Lunch Invite. This seems actually really fine. Um, but probably not Lunch Invite. We probably want to do Bribe here. We probably don't need all the investment here because that's already a lot. We can just invest some here and make it deal more damage. Yeah, that seems really interesting. Okay, some slower fighters to, to go with this team. And we could also do Clint. Ooh, that's really interesting. If we do Clint... Because Clint also swaps a decent amount. But Clint will never go second. And Puzzle Pendant's already on Yasmin. Jane is interesting. Mo I mean, Molly is interesting. But Molly doesn't really attack second. Liz is... You know what? Liz is pretty good too. And it's just... You know, infuriating. Huh. With Flare Locket. Yeah, this gets rid of mess and all of that stuff. Which is pretty good. It gets rid of their opposing pop-ups. Do I just put Farron in the Steam? Oh, Clint is a duelist. I completely forgot. Interesting. We do need a fast character. And being able to swap into Tazu seems really good. So let's try Clint. Um, so Longsword Quickfoil Escape Whip looks pretty good. Are there any other moves that you have? Poison Dagger Practice Stick, Unbutton. I think an Unbutton is pretty good instead of Longsword. Do we already have, do we have priority? Okay, so we need priority somewhere on the team. So rather than longsword, for now, let's give you unbutton. Um, let's shape up your defenses, actually. I don't need you to be too fast, because, yeah, I don't need you to be too, too fast. If we just do this, we can basically tank anything for days.
something like this. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. So if they're faster than us, our Fury Pendant will make us hurt a lot. But otherwise, we just swap into Tazu with Escape Wind. Which sounds like a really decent plan. I do want a Mentor. So we need to swap Yasmin and... So wow, I can't believe Team Order in Team Creation matters. Instead of Heart to Heart, we could put in Mentor. Which I really like, actually. Alright, we can try this out. And again, this won't be a perfect team. We can call this um, Slow Starters. Oh, we need, we obviously we need a color. Not mono. Penguin. No. Clay. No. Oxide. Cirque. Toxic. Cog. Nana Bubble. Slider. Black Forest. Black Forest looks pretty cool. Yeah, alright, let's try this out. All right, we've made the team. Save the team. So, much like with every team, we're gonna go into the sparring room, Dr. Radney, and fight Radney with our new team just to see how it is, just a, a small taste. And in the next video, we will go into the leagues and fight real people. But for now, let's try to beat Radney's butt. All right, let's see how this goes. You know what? Let's bring in um Let's bring in Tazu, dedicated lead Tazu. Kicks in. Let's go. Okay, man. All right. I kind of just want to firewall K Ban. Tenacious K Ban, here you are. You are only making me stronger. Okay, well, they bandaged. I mean, I could just throw another fireball. But I feel like they'll swap out now. Or are they just gonna keep bandaging? They've made my character tired. Which is fine. I'm just gonna go set up some pop-ups. So I'm faster than K-Ban right now. Which means I don't get the benefit of my captain plan, which is unfortunate. I'm already tired though, so... Like, all you're really hurting is yourself, k -Man. So let's set up more pop-ups. Taz is pretty cute when she does the, you know, I reach out my phone or card. Okay, I'm just gonna throw a firewall now. Yeah, I'll, I'll take some damage, but that's okay. I'm gonna take some damage from pop-ups. So they're a physical attacker. Which means we can bring K-Ban in, no problem. Whoop. Flag. Alright. You bypass claws me? No. You just get hurt. Uh, but I do not have any physical moves here. So I'm just gonna go charge panel on them. You're just hurting yourself, friend. Another charge panel should be very good. If they attack now, they're dead. I don't understand what the opponent's doing! Well, Radney's not particularly smart. You've seen it, right? Or it. Jane. So Jane has acidic armor. 
I do believe we can actually tag Yasmin in on this. We can actually build up some Bonk Town stacks. There's that thing paying dividends. So with our puzzle pendant, um, we should be slower than you. Because we should only have 20 speed. Um, which means this longsword should deal uh, some damage, not a lot. Maybe do doing this was a bad idea because I should have just brought in uh, Clint or Liz. You know what? Let's just bring in Liz. Liz should be able to tank that, no problem. We may need somebody who just forces the opponent to swap. Maybe like a Sayla instead of Clint. Their Yasmin, I see. Well, we can just admire their Yasmin. Oh no. I've been made tired. But yeah, you just. Hmm. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. This character is slow. I believe their initiative is like 10. So we'll just admire you, get you out of the way. Okay, maybe maybe fighting Radney is not always the best indication of how a team goes. But I kind of have a small feel for how everything goes. Now we need to see how this team performs against real people. But we'll do that in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching this episode of The Workshop. I hope to see you in the next one. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, put them in the comment section down below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!